Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing the issue with Valorant. Whenever you launch the game, you got the error, couldn't start or Windows cannot access the specified device, path or file. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and directly proceed with the resolution. First of all, in the basic step, I completely suggest you to uninstall any third party antivirus that you have installed in your system, such as Avast, AVG or Norton. Then go ahead and try to launch the game. If this doesn't fix, let's proceed with the second step. Go ahead, open up Windows Security. In this left pane, click on the option Firewall and Network Protection and then click on Allow an app through Firewall. Click on the option Change Settings and here you need to add the Valorant file into the exception. Click on the option Allow another app. Now you need to browse the Valorant executable file which is in C drive, Roid Games, Valorant, Live and here is Valorant. Double click to open it and click on the option Add. Next file is again browse Shooter Game, Binaries, Win64 and Valorant Win64 Shipping. Again click on the option Add. Once added, make sure you checkmark both the options, private as well as public. Once it is done, hit the OK button. Now close it. Now go ahead and try to launch the game to fix out the issue of Windows could not access the specified device path or file. If this failed to work out, let's proceed with the next step. Again, open C drive or the directory of your Valorant, which is in C drive, Roet Games, Valorant, Live. Here you will find Valorant executable file. Right click on it and choose the option properties. Click on the compatibility tab and here make sure you uncheck this particular option, run this program as an administrator. And if you have checkmarked the option, run this program in compatibility mode, make sure you uncheck this particular option also. Once it is done, hit apply and OK button. Now you need to open shooter games, binaries, Win64 and here find Valorant Win64 shipping file. Again right click, properties, compatibility tab and uncheck the option run this program as an administrator as well as run this program in compatibility mode. After unchecking both the options, hit the OK button. Now go ahead, close it, restart your Roet client and then relaunch the game to fix out the issue of Windows cannot access the specified device path or file. If these methods fail to work out, let's proceed with the next step. Click on the start menu and type CMD. Run CMD as an administrator. Before proceeding with the commands, you need to click on the system tray and make sure if Roet client is open, you need to right click on it and choose the option exit. Now type here a command, sc delete vgc and hit the enter key. Now type sc delete vgk and hit the enter key again. Once both the commands are completed, close it and make sure to restart your PC. And after restarting, head over to C drive, program files and here you will find a folder with the name Roet Vanguard. Make sure to restart your PC else this folder will not delete. You need to right click on it and choose the option delete. You can see I have not restarted my PC that's why I am getting the error of the action cannot be completed. So make sure to restart your PC and then delete this particular folder. After deleting, go ahead and launch the Roet client. Login onto your account. Once logged in, it will ask you to update the game. Go ahead and choose the option update. Once the program is completely updated, go ahead and restart your Roet client and then hit the play option and this will completely fix out the issue of Valorant couldn't start, Windows cannot access the specified device, path or file. So as of now, this is all about it friends. If this video works out for you, I request you to please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.